Who do you think is going to win the highest wattage module of 2024? Let's check. The reason why I love to go to Munich, Germany is because I have to be on point with everything that's going on in the industry. And in order to be on top with everything, you have to be in Munich, Germany once a year for InterSolar. This year, the weather was absolutely stunning. And of course, the show was huge like every single year. You can see how many different holes. I'll show you everything as we go through this. This is our first day. Hey guys, welcome to Munich, Germany. This is my second time at InterSolar in Europe. This is actually four shows in one. It's gonna be huge, lots of halls. You can already see how big this is. Let me take you along with me. Last year, there were 2,900 booths. <laughs> so we calculated we needed to do like 30 seconds per booth. This show is absolutely huge and honestly, I don't even know how one person can see majority of it, let alone like 50% in three days. That's how, that's how short this show is. QCell is again the first booth that you see when you enter the first hole. And one of the first things you see is that they have a storage system by a panel manufacturer. The quality of this show and the amount of money companies spend on booths is absolutely mind-blowing. We are stopping at the first one. It's Q-Cells. It's by Q-Cells. Huge manufacturer, well-known, worldwide. This year, the same booth is the first booth that we stopped by, and we, of course, are getting an amazing coffee. That's one thing that I have to say about Europeans is they really do good coffee. <laughs> I'm super excited with how all of those commercial utility scale uh, size panels are reaching very, very high efficiency ratings. I mean, this is really, really cool. In today's video, we are going to focus on looking for the highest wattage panel and hopefully we can see what is the highest efficiency rating of those panels as well. This HJT technology, 705 watts bifacial flexible cell technology. I mean, look at the size of this thing. We're trying to see how big or what's the biggest wattage panel we're gonna find. This one is 715 watts, 23.02% efficiency. And you will see that there's gonna be a lot of commercial panels that are gonna be on a 12 year warranty. Um, as a standard product warranty. Here you can see a 720 watt panel and you can see that the module efficiency is becoming super normal to be over 22%. This in particular is 23.18. And here you have Phono Solar. This is another tier one product that I actually do really like using on residential systems that I installed. This is a 730 watt panel with a 23.5% efficiency, very well. Next one up, going up the ladder, 735 watt panel with a 23.7% efficiency. This is another Canadian solar panel with heterojunction technology, which is great, but don't worry, this is not the last or the most efficient panel. 23.82%, 740 watt panel by LPV. And look at this, this is 24.14% efficient. 750 watt panel, tier one panel, huge. This appears to be the highest uh, wattage panel at 765.18 watt with a whooping 24.63% efficiency. This is kind of crazy, but I mean, it's, it's huge. You can see this gentleman standing right next to it. I mean, obviously the panel is like on a pedestal. <laughs> Almost every single panel manufacturer is coming out with a battery product. Trina, Jinko, Q-Cells, Canadian. But this is gonna be another subject for my next video from InterSolar coming up very soon. <sighs> All right, guys, we are done for the day. It is currently 
4.29, almost 5 p.m. Thankfully, in Europe, people work, most people work till 3 or 4. So it's past the rush hour in America, you know, it starts at 5. Um, this show is so huge. I mean, we there's, there's holes A through C, A, 1 through 6, B, 1 through 6, C, 1 through 6. So a total of 18 holes that we walked. Um, there's a few places that I want to go back tomorrow that I want to record some stuff for y'all, some of the new things. Overall, Europe and the spirits of Europe is just the same as America. The whole world is suffering economically for sure. So that's it for today make sure to subscribe to the channel because the new video with day two and a lot of news regarding storage and battery backup coming in europe next week